Those men raped that woman in India to death with an iron rod four feet long. You can't ban the iron rods. The guns, the iron rods, Pierce, didn't do it. The tyrants did it. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel Castro took the guns. 1776 will commence again if you try to take the firearms. We will not relinquish them, do you understand? The Republic will rise again. Don't try what your ancestors did before. Why don't you come to America? I'll take you out shooting. You can become an American and join the Republic. And I want to say this right here. You think you're a tough guy? Well, have me back with a boxing ring in here, and I'll wear red, white, and blue, and you can wear your Jolly Roger. Okay. You know what? You Let's try again. Do you know which weapon was used in the Oregon shopping mall? I want to get people off pills. Suicide pills, mass murder pills. I want you to try and answer the questions. It's a proper debate, okay? I'm not trying to trip you up. No, it's not a debate. You're running the okay. show. You bring in okay. your victims. In the spirit of a proper debate, you've had a lot to say so far on the show. Let's try again. 1776 will commence again if you try to take the firearms. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? The Republic will rise again. Don't try what your ancestors did before. Why don't you come to America? I'll take you out shooting. You can become an American and join the Republic. Come to America. I'll take you out shooting. You can become an American and join the Republic. Whatever. Go back to where they took the guns. Those men raped that woman in India to death with an iron rod four feet long. You can't ban the iron rods. The guns, the iron rods, Pierce, didn't do it. The tyrants did it. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel Castro took the guns. 1776 will commence again if you try to take the firearms. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? The Republic will rise again. Don't try what your ancestors did before. Why don't you come to America? I'll take you out shooting. You can become an American and join the Republic. And I want to say this right here. You think you're a tough guy? Well, have me back with a boxing ring in here, and I'll wear red, white, and blue, and you can wear your Jolly Roger. Okay. You know what? You Let's try again. Do you know which weapon was used in the Oregon shopping mall? I want to get people off pills. Suicide pills, mass murder pills. I want you to try and answer the questions. It's a proper debate, okay? I'm not trying to trip you up. No, it's not a debate. You're running the okay. show. You bring in okay. your victims. In the spirit of a proper debate, you've had a lot to say so far on the show. Let's try again. 1776 will commence again if you try to take the firearms. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? The Republic will rise again. Don't try what your ancestors did before. Why don't you come to America? I'll take you out shooting. You can become an American and join the Republic. Come to America. I'll take you out shooting. You can become an American and join the Republic. Whatever. Go back to where they took the guns if you don't like it. The communist. The motherfucking world is a ghetto. Full of magazines, full clips, and heavy metal when the smoke settles. I'm just looking for a big yellow. It's six in the metal, Dr. Dre. Hello. Percolating, keeping waiting while you sitting there hating. Your bitch is hyperventilating, hoping that we penetrating. You get snating, cause I've never been to Satan. For hardcore administrating, gang bang affiliating. MC Winner had you wildin' off a zone and a whole half a gallon. Get the gallon. 911 emergency, and you can tell him. It's my son, he's hurting me, and he's a felon. On parole for robbery, ain't no cop in the plea. Ain't no stopping the G. I'm in a six, you got to hop in the three. Company Monopoly, you handle shit sloppily. I drop a key properly. They call me the Don Dada, pop a collar, drop a dollar. Welcome. Welcome to a nice little, a nice little Freedom Day stream. Hopefully... The day has been treating well. Hopefully you've had a nice amount to drink chat and you've been celebrating your freedom in America where you don't need a fucking license to have a drink or shoot a gun or even jack off. That's a European thing solely. The uh, barbecues have been going. Fireworks have been blasting off. People climbing the Statue of Liberty. Everything you'd expect from a nice a nice freedom day. How's it, how's it treating you, chat? Four hours late. Yeah, it four hours late is correct. I had a little bit too much to imbibe. I enjoyed my freedom a little too much. But hey, what can what what are you gonna do about it? That's that's the beauty of this country. I can be as late as I want to be. And I don't get any fines from Mama Merkel for it. 
Let me uh, pull up chat here if I can do this. Where are we? Oh. Keep that little banner ticking across the top because it's true. They, they hate us because they ain't us. Oh, there we go. I see people in chat jacking off and enjoying firearms at the same time. It's a it's a wonderful way to celebrate Freedom Day. Slug Life from Rusty Shackleford. Uh, that's that's how we do it here. License to be late. That's correct, Ben. We we have a license to be late. Uh, you like the intro? Yeah, I was looking for a nice little catchy tune that incorporated everything, and I think that really does it. I think that really really helps to highlight it. He's already shitting on Europe. Yes, six feet. Uh, yes, I am. I plan on making fun of Europe quite a bit today. I thought we could read over some <laughs> some articles highlighting the state of Europe. In fact, you know what? I've got an article we can already go into. Let me <laughs> let me pull this up just to highlight the difference, just to give you a little a little spotlight on the difference between the good old U.S. of A. and Bongistan. Uh, let me let me pull this up. This was in the BBC. Of course, they're going to write an article about this, and uh, it, it's it's fitting, really. Let me let me pull the. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I think uh, the shocking tale is something we all need to listen to. <laughs> the fact the BBC wrote this still blows my mind. Okay, let me let me just make sure I've got this. Can I do a? Uh, okay, how am I not going to fuck this up? Hopefully all my horrific pornography doesn't show up on screen with what I'm about to do. Well, you know what? It'll make it a memorable stream. All right. Where where are we? Would it be would it be this window? Oh, there we go. From the BBC. From the BBC. Robox gang rape shocks mother. This is just from yesterday. A U.S. mother has written a Facebook post describing her shock at seeing her child's avatar being gang-raped by others in the online game Roblox. Amber Peterson said her 7-year-old was playing the game which is marketed to children when she showed her the screen and asked what was happening. Little 7-year-old Amber, I suppose, was in for quite the shock. Didn't realize she was playing a hardcore video game. She also <laughs> shared screenshots which showed two male avatars attacking her daughter's female character. Roblox said it banned the people who carried out the action. Miss Peterson said in her post that she felt traumatized and violated on so many levels following the experience. Uh, you know, what I find funny about this is the BBC will write an article about a seven-year-old in the United States getting gang-raped in Roblox, but they're not going to write articles about actual seven-year-olds in the UK getting gang-raped by packies. I know, there's a little bit of irony there, isn't there? See, that's the difference between America and the UK. When our children get gang-raped, even in video games, we take action. When their children get gang-raped in real life, they don't do shit about it. So you go ahead, BBC, you write that article. You write that article about those terrible Americans and their sexual deviancy in Roblox. But at least it's confined to the video game. At least it's not happening in your small towns. <laughs> you fucking cucks. Okay. It's a nice little... A nice little from around the world article there. Religion of Peace. That's right. It's a, it's a, it's a British simulator. Roblox is a British simulator. If you want to experience what it's like to live in England, go and get gang-raped in Roblox. It gives you the... It gives you the... Uh, the ability to say, I know what it's like without actually getting gang raped by Muslims. Euro pours blown the fuck out. That's correct, chat. Uh, chat. You know what? I'm, yeah, I'll call you chat. Chat. You're the chad chat. Why not? Alhu Akbar. Okay. Getting a little getting a little spicy there, chat. Getting a little spicy there. Fuck you, Jimbo. I think I spotted the European. The dark wolf. Are you are you a European? It's terrible. I'm sorry, am I making fun of you? <laughs> Roblox and Minecraft rape have become an epidemic gem. Such toxicity should be shut down. Well, Roblox is is trying to uh, 
to do its best to stop the terrible things happening in their video games. Okay, let's see. We've got a few a few super chats. Let me be a shekel whore and read some of these things. Uh, Dog Munch, the only thing we have left is being able to cross a road unlawfully. I oh, I see that's that's in that's in funny money. That's from across the ocean. Now are you sure you want to give me that five pounds, Dog Munch? Aren't you gonna need that for to pay the fine for watching this stream? I'm pretty sure it breaks some law over there. Armanars, uh, happy Independence Day, you're welcome, T France. Well, uh, thank you, France. What's left of you? Uh, I hear Paris isn't very safe. Uh, I've advised my friends of that. Uh, <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, Dick Kilroy. Hey, y'all. It's me, Lulz Hound Mc <laughs> McMain Dog, reminding y'all to donate to Israel and to trust your local rabbi. Yip, yip, yiru. Well, thank you, Dick Kilroy. Mike Hunt, become a patron today. Happy Fourth Man and everyone else here to enjoy the show. Well, I hope you enjoy the show. I hope you have a nice tall one. A nice, a nice alcoholic beverage. And you're enjoying fucking Freedom Day, because that's what you should be doing. Stars over Stalingrad. Any predictions on if Kraut will return? And how it will pan out in the long term if he does? Do you think he's burned too many bridges and destroyed too much of the potential audience he could have? Who cares? Who cares what the fuck Kraut does? What is he, what is he going to come back to? I don't know. He's been waiting for permission to come back on the... Who waits for permission to come back on the internet? You can go do whatever the fuck he wants to do. I stopped paying attention about uh, fucking five minutes after I finished the videos. Lone Wolf Otaku. Happy Freedom Day, Jim. Let's mine some European salt. Well, I have been mining European salt. That video I put up seemed to really piss off Europeans. I'm not... Uh, I don't think they can take jokes very well. Specifically, the British don't seem to like to take jokes very well. It upsets them. They get, they just get all sorts of fucked up when you start making jokes about them. So hopefully today is going to be a good day. Professor Worthless, buy Todd's game or suffer the consequences. I always buy Todd's game. But I don't know. You know, I, I might have to switch over to a new franchise. I don't know if they have gang rape in Skyrim. Because I know they got it in Roblox. And it seems to be the popular shit over there. Uh, mom gay dilation station. Well, everybody should respect those. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I personally love the idea of a bunch of estrogen taking trannies all, you know, huddled around a dilation station at a speed running event, sharing glass dildos to dilate in between their runs as Zelda and Mario. Uh, that uh, will never not be amusing to me. I'm just, uh, I'm reading chat. I'm reading what you're saying. Hopefully your fourth is going well. Roblox gangbangs. Well, there you go. Jim, your voice is getting deeper. No, that's just, uh, that's, that's the alcohol. It's the alcohol and hot dogs. Realistic Islam simulator. Well, maybe we'll have to do a stream of Roblox and see how, how bad the rape <laughs> epidemic is in the video game. Oh, I think we got some ear pans here. Let's let's see. Anon, you must. You mad because your kids will be mutts. Love fifty six percent. Jim getting salty. Stay mad, fam. Oh, I love how they go for the fifty six percent meme. You know what the other? You know what the other forty four percent is? It's fucking freedom. It's a concept you wouldn't understand. <laughs> That's what the other forty four percent is. It's the ability to say faggot on a live stream and not have the British equivalent of a SWAT team kick my door down for hurt feelings. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do later today? I'm going to tweet mean things. You know what's going to happen? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Welcome to America, bitch. Did you hear about the... What, what is this? Did you hear about Naughty Dog pushing lesbianism? Well, I watched E3. I saw what was going on. I, everybody was pushing a little bit of... Uh, diversification and their main stars. The Gears of War, everybody was. Everybody was. My 56%, that's correct. Oh, yes, they've been roasted, chat. European trash fire begins. Read a few more of these, and we'll start, we'll start taking a look at the state of uh, Europe as a whole. They like to talk a lot of shit until you start reading their news articles. 
I don't know why a group of people that could get arrested for revving their car engine in a racist manner would show up and talk shit to somebody who can rev their car in any manner they like, but we'll find out. We will find out. Xenophag Uprising, uh, who do you main in Team Fortress 2? Is that even a, a question you're asking? Who do you think? Marina, 1776 will commence again. Correct. Gabrielle Montague, hey Joker, your videos helped me to deal with depression, anxiety, and overcome the death of my mother. Wish you all the best and happy 4th of July. Keep trolling till you die. You're the last cool kid on the internet. Well, that is, uh, oh, I'm glad you liked the videos. That guy from that thing, fuck yeah. I can't do the Andy Worski shit. I can't do the the Chip Chipperson uh, homage. Sir Bon Voyage. I absolutely applaud you, Jimbo. America is the best country ever. I'm Canadian. Well, you have my sympathies. I'm Canadian. And all we have freedom light. At least we're not Europe, though. Please roast Canada and Europe more, you absolute alpha. Well, I, I plan on talking a little bit about Trudeau. I think I have a few videos of Trudeau. You know, let's see if I've got a few videos of Trudeau just lined up and ready to go. We'll, we'll put a few on there just to, just to welcome our Canadian brothers. Let's, what's a good Trudeau video? <laughs> what really sums up fucking Trudeau? Oh, there's a, I, I got a couple. I got a couple. Oh, do I not have, uh, <laughs> well, you know what, I, I guess this one will do. I thought I had the one where his kids were on the game show, but I don't. That's, that's sad. But you know what, I'll go with the Canadian National Anthem. Just because it's 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 a a time to honor your nation, even though you're not really Americans, I'll still play your national anthem. You're welcome, Canada. You're fucking welcome. Cuckstead. What? You are surrounded by your Maximum privilege reached. There you go, Canada. I hope that I hope that tides you over. Hearing a little bit of your uh, theme song from the motherland. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Party, uh, uh, party, Alp. Uh, I can't pronounce this. Party. Om um, Savi, 1776 will soon commence again. We uh, will Eurocucks ever recover? You may ask. The answer is no, unless they forswear their weak nations and pledge allegiance. I, I think that's illegal over there too. I think pledging allegiance is. I think everything in Europe is illegal at this point. But we'll get to that in a little bit. Alkyrios. Leafs are number one though. Burger sunk giant cock. This is now a Leaf supremacy stream. Day of the rake, more like Day of the Great Spring. Harper Best PM. You maple syrup loving fucks couldn't accomplish anything if you put your mind to it. You elected Justin Trudeau. I'm pretty sure that's the guy that gave a speech about feminism during the fucking McMurphy fires. While Canadians were being burnt to a crisp, he was talking about privilege. In fact, I think I've got a clip of that. I think I've got a clip of that for you, my Canadian brethren. First of all, I'm going to keep saying loud and clearly that I am a feminist. Uh, why does every time I say I'm a feminist, uh, you know, the Twitterverse explodes and uh, news media pick, pick it up. It shouldn't be something uh, that creates a reaction. That's what I thought. See, that's, that's what I thought. That's a good encapsulation of the state of Canada. Literally nobody. You're late, Jim. Uh, correct. Correct. Good observation. JToki12, any word on Deviants After Dark? All that shit's probably going to be moved over to um, Plexstorm. Because I can stream whatever the fuck I want over at Plexstorm. Mega Killer X, happy 1776 day, Jimbo. Swedistan is having an election this September. They're quickly becoming uncucked. 1523 will commence again. No, it won't. <laughs> Let's be honest here. 
you guys are fucked. Do you even... Are there any Swedish people left to vote in your fucking election in September? I'm pretty sure the next president, or whatever the fuck you call it, of Sweden is going to be named Abdul. You may as well just move to Norway or Finland and hope they let you cross the fucking border. Overseer USA, God bless America. Keep the, up the good work, Jim. Well, God bless the USA. Pinkalo, the driving ape man. All lives will be entangled. All hail the blue whale. Caleb Lamlight, the same Jesus Christ who said, turn the other cheek, said, sell your cloak to buy a sword. 1776, King David was a warrior. Abraham was a warrior. Happy 4th. Caps Lock 3, reminder, uh, everyone, America is great again. That's right. The Real Diamond, hey Jimbo, God bless, I hope you had some lovely barbecue and pussy. You were what you eat, after all, from an American pussy. Reginic Wolf, Jim is dead, guys. He killed himself when he found out Boogie died again. It is tragic. Boogie has passed away for the 80th fucking time. I don't know how the man's going to do it. I saw that he put a video up recently where he was lamenting the fact that his channel was only getting, uh, I don't know, half a million views a video or something. Tragic times for Boogie, 29849588. I don't know what the fuck. How is he ever going to live with only half a million views on each of his videos rather than a million views on each of his videos? <laughs> Maybe we should set up a charity for him. VAWBC Carry, happy breakup Britain Day. That's good. Rocket and Sena, when will Plexstorm commence? Uh, soon, fairly soon it will. Katharga, these knuckle dragging Eurofags are going to drag us down into another world war. A war into which I will probably be drafted very happy. I don't think so. I, I don't think America is going to get dragged into another European conflict. How about fuck Europe? You know, we set all these, uh, all these policies. We come up with all these allies and game plans for the Middle East because we don't want certain uh, factions getting their hands on nuclear weaponry. And in the meantime, Europe, being the bright boys that they are, import the entire third fucking world from the Middle East and North Africa just straight into their main population centers where they get outbred. And then in 50 years, when they're the majority of the population, they can just vote themselves into power. And so all those uh, sanctions and all those policies we put in place to prevent... Uh, certain Muslim super states from coming into possession of nuclear weapons go right out the window because now Britain and France and everybody else is a Muslim country that also happens to have a stockpile of nuclear weapons. So thank you very much, Europe. Thank you for leaving that shit for us to clean up later on. Uh, we're not going to save you. We're just going to glass your whole fucking continent and be done with it. Mark, are you winning, son? Hopefully. Ariath, Ariath, oof. Read some normal chat here so I don't look like a complete whorish sellout on our Freedom Day. I take 100 DSPs over immigrants any day from a, uh, a more fat nine. I don't know about that. I mean, 100 DSPs would be... <laughs> would be something. It kills me that Jim says nuclear. Well, you know, I pronounce things wrongly all the time. Uh, you know, hyperbole is a futuristic sport, and not at all meant to be confused with hyperbole. Don't don't confuse those two. Everybody's trying to spell check my nuclear. Okay, no, I'm sorry, it's not going to happen. Glass the EU. That is correct, chat. Glass them. Glass them from fucking orbit. Uh, no Dark Knight. It is not just Super Chats now. I'm, I'm reading normal chats. I'm reading right directly from you. Right directly from you. In fact, let's bring up some European articles. Let's take a look at the state of Europe. I touched upon it a little bit in some of the, uh, some of the videos I did. But <laughs> let's just, uh, uh, yeah, there we go. What's the one that really pisses them off? Oh, this one does, because they all like to pretend like it's made up. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this. All right, where where are we? Window capture. UK NAS... <laughs> okay, this could be good. UK newsstands will sell porn passes to verify ages under new laws. A slightly more anonymous option than an online database. An online database to look at pornography? Welcome to the UK. Last year, Britain approved the Digital Economy Act of 2017, which includes strict new rules 
regarding access to pornographic websites. When the law goes into effect later this year, regulators have suggested that users should be able to purchase so-called porn passes from their local newsstands to verify their age. So just so you get that, what this article is saying, what they're trying to explain to you about the state of the bongs, is that you need a license to jack off in Britain now. The law will require you websites to verify the user's age or face stiff penalties. No pun intended, I'm sure. Those who don't comply risk being blocked by internet service providers and would face fines of up to £250,000. However, the implementation of those rules have been delayed to give the British Board of Film Classification, the BBFC, <laughs> everything's got to be that BB over there, more time to draft its guidelines. Once it does, those new guidelines will require approval from Parliament. So you need a license to masturbate in the United Kingdom. And even better, you have to buy it at the local newsstand. Or be a part of an online database. Hey, what sick fucking shit are you into? Well, be sure to tell your British government. Because they're going to want to know when they put you in the database what box to check off for what your kink is. Just shameful. Just, yeah, a wank permit. That's correct. They don't like when you bring this up. They try to pretend it's not real. They try to, they try to play a little shuffling game. And act like they don't need big brother's approval before they touch themselves at night but they do am i saying this is some future dystopian hell oceana uh will be at war with eurasia that's correct that's what i'm saying black britain is that what the bb stands for is that why bb's and everything they do uh, that might be correct chat nsa eat your heart out yes yeah, see that's the difference the NSA may watch us, but they don't make us pay for a license to do what we do. They may be sick perverts that want to keep tabs on us, but they don't make us go out to the local grocery store to buy a fucking porn pass from some 80-year-old woman in between our purchase of coffee and tea and, I don't know, lettuce, and explain to her that I'm going to go home and I'm going to watch some guy just bust a load over some chick's face, so I need to buy this pass today. That's the difference. That's what freedom tastes like. You can use a VPN. Funny Daddy, think about what you're saying. You've reached the point in Europe, in Britain, where you need to use a VPN to masturbate. Maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to reevaluate your government. If you need to go through high-tech solutions so you can touch yourself, maybe there's something wrong with your country. <laughs> maybe maybe something's gone terribly fucking wrong. Oh, what was the moped one? There's one to assault mopeds. Let's let's talk about assault mopeds. Let me see if I can find this. <laughs> Absolutely shameful. Zero tolerance approach to moped crime. Oh, God. And it's from the official government website. Of course it is. Of course it is. I don't even know if this is a real website. Let's go see what this is. Mayor drives forward. Zero tolerance approach to moped crime. We must, we must ban assault vehicles. The mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, will today for the first time bring together London's police, local authorities, and motorcycle crime prevent community, which represent motorcycle users, to help drive forward the zero tolerance approach to tackling moped related crime in London. In the last year, there were more than 19,385 moped enabled crimes in London. An average of 53 a day, including thefts and robberies. The mayor is clear. They will not be tolerated in the capital. And this this goofy little fucker is on Twitter telling people, Oh, oh my God, the moped crimes are just out of fucking control. Oh, what are we going to do? All these assault vehicles. God, it'd be... It sure would be something if people... If they could defend themselves with an item, what could people use to defend themselves from these roving gangs of moped users that are in the heart of London. What possible item 
would ward off robberies and burglaries if they just had it on their person. I can't think of it. I can't think of it. I'm sure there's something, though. Oh, wait, no, everything's been banned. There's nothing that you can use to defend yourself. And if you do, you're going to get arrested and have to pay the person you defended against. Welcome welcome to Mary Old Bongland. <clears throat> Oh, uh oh, have I have I I've gone on reverse. I had myself a little bit too much liquor, a little bit too much liquor. I've muted myself. What have I done? Oh, no chat. The the stream is not dead. That's just the result of too much alcohol. Did Jim's mic die? No, it didn't. But now I'm gonna have to wait to see how long it takes to catch up. Okay, it's caught up. All right, there we go. Hey, you know, that's what happens when you drink a little too much on Merry Old Freedom Day. You missed it. Oh, Mama Merkel got to me. I just read a few super chats. Nobody will know what the replies to those were now. <laughs> what are you going to do? Yeah, Boomer Jim. Boomer Tech. That's a 30-year-old boomer. Can't operate that fucking mic without paying attention. It's just shameful. A little too much, yeah, a little too much imbibing on this glorious, this glorious holiday. People just bringing up gang rapes and rape lay and talking about uh, rape epidemics. Just European subjects. <laughs> that's, that's all we're talking about today. Uh, Bob, while before the stream started, I prayed to our true patriots, Solid as Snake, Senator Armstrong, and Emperor Trump. God bless America. Rodney Ironcock, America is so great, even our Pop-Tarts are considered lethal weapons. 1776, Mother Clucker. Doitso Cage, had a strange experience today. What stranger? When your girl comes and she calls you daddy or father, happened to me today, and I'm still recovering. Oh, what's so you're asking me what is stranger if your girlfriend comes when you're fucking her and she calls you a daddy or father? I... I father sounds so formal that would just make it even weirder right it's 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 like she's like using a proper title it's not it's gone beyond the realm of kink hasn't it it's just uh, father uh it sounds like I, I i don't know how to explain it for some reason i keep thinking of sonic you thank you father i will like that's stuck in my head if, if i heard that in bed i'd instantly think of sonic you and it would ruin anything that was going on Terje Samuelson, I'm here in Norway, and I got a good laugh from your video. Keep it up. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. 
The vile delinquent. Celebrate your Independence Day by fucking your Asian girlfriend's vertical pussy, Jim. I plan on it. Some kind of taco. Listen, Jim. You can talk all the shit you want about Europe, but the fact of the matter is, they're just too sophisticated for all this basic human rights nonsense. You know, I... They are so very sophisticated. They're so posh and proper over in uh, Bangistan with their, you know, the illegality of sporks and needing a fucking driver's license and a, a state ID to buy some butter knives. <laughs> you know, uh, where was it? Uh, you know, let me tell you a little story about how British people have no sense of humor. Let me let me find the video. If I can't find the, the one on my on my desktop, I'll find it somewhere else. I'm, I'm sure I have it here. So, there we go. Okay. I'll, I'll play this to you and then I'll tell you the story that surrounds this video. All right, here we go. It means that from Thursday, anyone caught selling, making, or importing will face up to four years in prison. The move follows the death of a teenager in London last year. Alex Bushell has the story. From the hunter apocalypse to zombie slayer, the names are over the top and faintly ridiculous, but the blades are no less fatal. Last March, 18-year-old Stephen Appleton was killed with this weapon in a park in Islington. Until now, their sale, mostly over the internet and imported from the US, has been legal. Well, no more. We're banning the manufacture of them here, the importation of them, the retail of them, and the possession of them. So we're doing everything we possibly can to ensure that people can't buy them. I think that's pretty straightforward. I mean, you'd have to be fucking retarded to think that they were actually talking about butter knives. They refer to the weapon as the uh, <laughs> fucking shit like hunter and zombie apocalypse. But for some reason, British people just have difficulty getting jokes, I guess. So I had I had some fucking guy. Uh, let me let me pull him up and I'll show it to you. Oh, he blocked me though, so I don't even know if the fucking this stupid shit that he said is actually going to show up, but I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot anyway. I'll give you the, the basics of the story. He's a Brit, of course, uh, by the name of Ben Gunn, who got... Uh, uh, yeah, okay, good. It is showing up. All right, let me, let me throw up the window. There we go. This is what this dumb fuck uh, had to say in response to this. You spread shitty propaganda, like CNN and Fox, fueling the wave of bullshit we already have to wade through. Dank Kuka is a comic. You're a shitty propagandist. Uh, he did not like the video. He felt that uh, you made... <laughs> this. <laughs> How do they have a stick perpetually up their ass? You made a claim. You lied. Goodbye. Of course, he wasn't done saying goodbye at that point. But it, it, <laughs> Jesus Christ, they can't take jokes. I can't believe you're pulling this crap SJW stunt. I'm in the UK. Butter knives aren't banned. Your vid was edited at the four second mark when she was about to list what was being banned. You've tried to lie to us, to persuade us to your cause. Your ideas must be weak if you need such cheap lies to rest on. I, I don't have a cause in this particular one. Ben Gunn, prisoner Ben One. Uh, there, this was a video to make fun of your dumbass, and you've, you've. <laughs> the 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 thing that gets me is, it was the edit at the four second mark that got him, where the audio cuts out. It wasn't the fact that it was nothing but pictures of butter knives, that would have clued him into maybe this is taking the piss out of us. No, it was the it was the quick audio edit that our detective Sherlock Holmes here figured out, and then immediately after that. Uh, goes into, uh, blocks me, goes into lockdown. Now, what's the interesting thing about Ben Gunn? Uh, this I find amusing. Let's just pull up his account here. Uh, prisoner Ben, ex-convict. Ex-convict apparently went to prison for murder. <laughs> he apparently, uh, from what I've heard, uh, not, not saying it's true, just uh, the rumors that are spread out there, murdered a child? <laughs> murdered a kid? Uh, but, uh, yeah. I guess his killing spree's not over. He's murdering jokes now. He's taken to Twitter to, to butcher jokes. Thank you, Ben Gunn. Thank you, British people. Uh, ben Gunnenstein? You might be right, chat. Butter knives aren't blocked. 
Ben Gunn has confirmed it. You can still own butter knives. You don't have to butter your bread with spoons right now. That is a real person, uh, KHUSA. Uh, that is a very real person. Brit called Ben Gunn. I know. I know. He's a prison reformer out there to, to change the world. Sorry, I'm just, I'm reading chat, but that was my little story with the Ben the Butter Knife video that apparently Brits can't handle. They, they seemingly can't handle a lot of, a lot of things. A lot of different forms of humor seem to piss them off quite a bit. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, Marnias, I live in Paris and it's truly aid central. I wish I could prank the muds and dindus in Minecraft. American friends cherish your freedom. We always do. Power Cage, bring in Astros to talk about how great the USA is. I, I don't, after I give him that dedication on the dilation station video, I don't know if he's coming back. Tim Cornish, since IBS had last, uh, the lasting power of Kylie Jenner's Pepsi commercial, here's some shekels until you land your next dumpster fire as moderator for the Basketball Wives LA season finale. It was, it was depressing. I don't know how people could fuck up such an easy formula. All they had to do was sit their ass on a stream and let people yell at each other, but, but somehow, some way, uh, the majority of people involved in hosting that shit just fucking imploded. Just went supernova. Sometimes you just can't make people be successful. They are their own hindrance, their own obstacle, their own thing in the way of actually succeeding. What are you going to do? Ishma boy. Banning knives equals less knife attacks. Banning guns equals less gun attacks. Banning drugs equals the war on drugs is destroying lives. Legalize meth and uh, legalize meth now. It's a hot take, Kane. It uh, it's cause you shame them, and they know you're right. Uh, and that oh, you've got a license video. There were a lot of pissed off Brits. Yeah, I, I put that up on Facebook first as its own little standalone video, uh, and they did not like that over there either. Just they don't like being a punchline, even though they're <laughs> they are a living joke at the moment. Amazing 1985, why are Brits so salty with your license video? I don't know. They're just going to have to... I thought they could handle banter. They just can't. There's something about the British that can't handle banter anymore. God help them if they ever encounter an Australian. They'll implode. Bow Wow, why can't Euro Cucks and Brits handle banter? Uh, it's something genetic, I'm sure. Slammer Eye Jam Down, my face when Europores cannot tolerate video while shooting Rudy Tooty Patooties and Shooties and telling Mama Merkel to shove it. Ethan the Hobo. I suppose all the cultural enrichment has taken a number on their sense of humor. And the Bastard. Press 1 to butter knife the Jew. Oh. I don't know if you can say that. Oh, wait. Yes, you can. You're an American. <laughs> go go for it. A vicious Castle for 15. No message. I'll just assume that somewhere in there was a joke about how cucked Britain is and the absolute state of Europe. In which case, we're all going to clap in agreement. In fact... Let's 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 give a round of applause for how fucked Europe is, uh, and honor that American tradition. Yes, yes, they're fucked. Clap, 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 clap. Mike Butter Knife Massacre. Uh, a lot of ones in chat. A lot of fucking ones in chat. In light. <laughs> Enlightened Apple fanboy, Rip Boogie four one. <laughs> okay, I see what we're doing here. Uh, Rip Boogie one four eight eight. Happy Independence Day, Jim. How pissed is a stepfather to have to have porn passes for Brazilian fart porn? Oh, it's a tragedy, I'm sure. Justin Milkovitz, do you own any guns? If so, why aren't you shooting them right now? Uh, no, I do not actually own any guns, uh, but I grew up shooting them. And I grew up hunting and all that fun shit. Like most like most kids probably did. Uh, Faye Berg, do an episode on the Spurg, Mr. Enter. I will consider it. Sweeping hamster. Jim, what guns do you own? I uh, already answered that. Purple Oblivion. Jim forgot his streaming license. No, I have my streaming license ready to go. It's sitting right here. Oh, <laughs> it's a little piece of paper. I wrote the uh, the words on because I can and signed it with my own name. That's how we roll in America. That's what our licenses look like. We just write something on paper and say, because I fucking felt like it. Signed, myself. 
then that's legally binding. The cops will accept that. For posterity, Canada can no longer claim lower crimes. Toronto's diversity, our strength official motto has backfired on them. With murder and gangs, look it up. I can, I can imagine the state of Canada right now. I've been watching it fall apart on itself. All right, we'll take a, a, a break. Let's go, let's go look at some articles. I really think it's important to just hammer home the state of Europe as a whole, and we'll find some fun shit to look at. <laughs> I'm gonna find, I know what I'm gonna find. I think it was in Scotland. I, I believe this is it. Let me see if I can pull it up. Oh, beautiful. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. UK jail time for revving engine in a racist manner. A motorist in Scotland, UK, is fined $238 and sent to jail for two days for the crime of revving his Lotus Esprit in a racist manner. Scottish motorist Ronnie Hutton, 49, was jailed for two days for the crime of <laughs> revving his car in a racist manner. Last September, after waiting more than a year to try the case, the Sterling Sheriff Court finally convicted Hutton last week of breach of the peace and fined him 150 pounds. An off-duty officer, Chief Inspector Ian Jenkins, said Hutton had revved the engine of his Lotus near two Muslims last year. After Hutton dismissed Jenkins' concern with an expletive, Jenkins immediately dispatched two police officers to Hutton's home where he was taken and thrown in jail for two days without formal charges. Hutton explained that his revving had nothing to do with nearby pedestrians. Rather, he was keeping his temperamental and expensive V8 engine from stalling and being damaged. Just, uh, just take a minute to think about that. Just imagine yourself driving down Main Street America and getting arrested because your car was uh, making too much noise near a pedestrian. 150, 150 pound fine for revving his engine in a racist manner. Beautiful, beautiful UK. You're always such a, you always do such clever things. That is correct, chat. Car sounds are Islamophobic. You are correct. Uh, you know what, Blanco Boy Jones, I will. You want me to say rice fields? I'll say rice fields. There you go. That guy from that thing, 30% or you're Americaning wrong. Roy, uh, a super roxapo. Oy vey, the Goyim survived the attempt. Proto Man got pulled by a cop at a checkpoint, asked to see my utility knife. He then asked where he could buy one and gave him the website. God bless America. Now, if you were in Britain, they <laughs> They would have had to call on the army to take you down. Langer Lord, Jim is a two-drink wonder. Preston Gornick, Jim, are you by any chance from Buffalo, New York? No, I'm not. VJ Spook, having to take deep wet measures to beat off. That's correct. You need to go through quite the, <laughs> quite the, uh, the circus hoops uh, to be able to beat off in merry old Bongland. Raginic Wolf. Jim is drunk shooting guns, probably accidentally shot Jade, which is why he had to start the stream late. Got a barrier in the cornfield. That is correct. That would be correct. Amazing 1985. Press 1 if you think Japan is more manly than the whole of Europe. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to press 1 right now. Put a, put a 1 in there. There we go. I'm just uh, pulling up some news stories. If you notice a, a moment of silence. I'm sorry, I'm not professional. I don't have Viva La Rasa ready to play. But I do have Alex. You know, I, gu I guess I could play Alex when I'm looking for a news article. Nice little auto-tune 1776 song. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, we'll also take a look at Super Chat and his amazing stomping of Antifa throughout the last couple of days and the little adventure that he went on. Good old Rufio uh, beating the shit out of Soy Boys and then basically getting applauded for it, which is amazing. Captain Derp, Jim, are you a Jew? Uh, no, I'm not, Captain. I'm not one of the chosen Oive. At least, 
That's what the rabbi told me to tell you when you asked. So that's the answer that I'm going to go for. The Jew fears the samurai, AC, you're correct. Uh, wrong leader. Hey, Jim, I think you missed my super chat. Uh, yeah, I'm reading backwards to the list, so I'll probably hit it in a little bit here. Uh, yes, Rufio, the super chat. Uh, we will take a look. We will take a look at Rufio, the super chat. If you have any stories about Europe being a shithole, or you have a, a good anecdote about Europe being mockable, feel free to tweet it at me, and I will read it on stream. It's at we was Medicare. It's all all one word, no underscores in that. <laughs> Just send it on over, and we will display it on stream and laugh at the absolute state of fucking Europe on this glorious, beautiful Freedom Day. Pinky Peanut Pie. Hi, my man. Captain Sweden here. Just popping in to say my wife's packy boyfriend has made me my, made my life richer than I would have ever thought ten years ago. Before our country was a majority Muslim. Glass half empty. Soy Goy of Mossad got him. Rolf Mutzelberg. Press F. El Changio. Yo, Jim, what is your prediction for the midterms? You think the Dems will make a comeback? Also, God bless America. Fuck yeah. I have no predictions for the midterms. I've, I've imbibed too much alcohol to be giving you political predictions today. Ask me another time. A border prince Warhammer lore, Jim, speak to Trump annexes like Rome did Greece. I, I'm trying to piece this together. Speak to Trump. Oh, oh, you're at, okay. Commas would have helped. <laughs> I thought, thought maybe you had a stroke when you were writing that out. Jim, comma, speak to Trump, comma, annexes like Rome did Greece. All right. Had to take had to take a moment to ingest that. I will pass along the word for you. Kane, I'm from Dunblane. Dunblane? I'm from Dunblane in Scotland. The last British school shooting, and I've been in England for five years now and can't stand it. You need a gun. <laughs> you need a gun. The foreigners are crazy. Ah, I, I'd save those pounds, Brits. You're going to need them. And watching this stream is probably going to get you heavily fined. Sock Puppet Joe, some lady is climbing the Statue of Liberty. Oh, well, we probably should we should probably check in on that, huh? Let me, let me pull this up. How far has she made it? Is she up to the ankle? Did she did she fall off at the fucking knee? We'll see where we'll see where she's made it at this point. You know what? This is the perfect story to read. Um <laughs> Let me just pull this one up. Well, it's British Columbia, but you know what? Oh, why not? Why not? We're we're gonna we're gonna read it. We're gonna read it. You know, it's it's somewhere in the world. It's not glorious America. So let's take a look. <laughs> Metro. Nobody knows why it's rained poo eighteen times over British Columbia. Oh, this is from two days ago. A woman says her car was splattered in poo as she and her son sat at a red light, but nobody has offered an explanation for it. Susan Allen, from Kilwana in British Columbia, was driving home with her sunroof open. <laughs> she was, <laughs> was driving home with her sunroof open when she says shit fell from the sky. The stuff, the substance felt cold, smelled like chlorine and boo, and was a blue-brown color. I'm telling you, when it this hit her vehicle, there was so much that it felt like a whole pile of mud falling from the sky, she told Vice. You could see uh, it hitting the vehicle, and when it was hitting our faces, <laughs> and when it was hitting our faces, the first thing my son said to me was that it felt freezing cold and it smelled like, pardon the pun, shit. My son threw up, and we had so much in our faces. Our faces were covered in shit. A subsequent visit to the doctor revealed she contacted conjunctivitis in both eyes as a result of the unfortunate accident. Oddly, this is not the first time that reports of shit raining down on innocent people has emerged. Three days after Susan's ordeal, another man in the same town reported his car being covered in falling shit. 
and Transport Canada, the government's department that oversees federal transportation policy and regulations, said it had 18 reports of people and guards being hit by flying sewage. It has investigated all of them, it added, but has not offered any answers as to why the incidents keep happening. There are theories behind the mysterious shit projectiles, but nobody's been able to confirm or deny them. One theory is that the falling substance is coming from airplanes overhead, and that malfunctioning valves are causing sewage, known as blue ice, to leak out and freeze to the aircraft when it's flying at high altitudes. This then melts and falls to the ground, hitting unfortunate people below. Susan reportedly wants her car to be cleaned by Transport Canada because it smells like shit, <laughs> and reportedly uh, believes it's a cover-up by the government. Oh, that is a great story. Who the fuck sent that? Um, thank you, Jovlar. Uh, that, that is, that's Canada for you. That's their, their, that's the open immigration policy. A lot of Indians. A lot of poo in the loos. Just shits raining from the sky in Canada. It's a typical, typical Canadian day. Oh, god damn. Oh, she's so vivid in her description. Imagine driving down the street with your sunroof open. And all of a sudden, your son sitting next to you, and a giant icicle of shit just explodes on his forehead. <laughs> what do you, what do you even do in that situation? You can't get out of the car, right? Because shit's flying down from the sky. You could close the sunroof, but you've still got a giant icicle of <laughs> fucking crap on your face. You're gonna have to like make a run for it. Oh. Oh, thank God I live in America. Shit does not rain from the sky, at least not on this scale. 18 fucking times. Maybe there's something going on. Maybe she's not completely crazy. Maybe there is a government conspiracy. Poo chemtrails are making the frogs gay. Well, that could be that could be correct. Joe Dirt loved it. I'm sure. <laughs> Wife son getting enriched. Well, that is, that is black Canadian stan. Oh, goddamn. See, this is a key difference between America and Canada. Today in America, when you look up in the sky, you see fireworks exploding. We like to blow shit up to celebrate how awesome we are. But in Canada, if you look up in the sky, you're going to get a face full of shit. That's the that's key difference. Thank you, Trudeau. Oh, god damn. Oh. Sock Puppet Joe. Some lady is climbing the Statue of Liberty. I will be taking a look at that. Uh, Striker Quiet Jim, look up Mayor Ma <laughs> Mayor Majid Majid of Sheffield. Looks like he'll drop a hot South African hip hop album any minute now. Irish cream, if it's brown, gun it down. Mix fifty six mix three wank permits for tranny animal gangbang please. Dragonzoid sixty nine, inshallah my circumcised the Maramut friend. Please do not equate Brit Bongistan with the rest of Europe. Also enjoy Michelle Obama as your next president. Oh, I'm sorry, I mispronounced uh, surname. Michael Obama. Benito Mussolini, Americans, American moped in London. Professor Worthless, every pass comes with a free subscription to Blacked. I think every BBC, I think every TV license comes with a free subscription to Blacked. Striker Quiet, Mystery Babylon Mattaker. Now surname, Jim Zero, the word interpret, 63. HTRTU, Europeans choose your weapon, proxy, tour, or VPN. I really hope we get some more shit falling from the sky stories. That was... Oh, that was fucking good. Ah, uh, I... Uh, is this even real? Let me, let me take a look at this. Uh, apparently, this is from Reason. Let me put this up on screen for everybody. There we go. <clears throat> a post consisting almost entirely of text from the Declaration of Independence was flagged by Facebook, which said the post goes against our standards on hate speech. Well, you know, I, I think I can comment on that. Isn't Zuckerberg working with Merkel and other people to try to try to tighten things up under the European model and no fun? I'm pretty sure over the last two or three years, that's been his goal. So it doesn't surprise me that Europeans wouldn't like uh, the Declaration of Independence up there and say that it was hate speech. That's actually uh, the least surprising thing as far as <laughs> something happening that I could think of. 
Oh, what do we got here? Just read some various comments for a little bit of fun. We'll get back to some news stories here. Your favorite edgelord. This is uh, from Twitter. I had some British dude remark on our school shooting problem, so I just laughed at the fact they outlawed knives, and he said to me, Knives are dangerous. I busted a gut laughing as I sit here with my 9mm in my hand. Oi, you don't understand. You need to bend that blade, okay? Knives are dangerous. <laughs> can, can you own anything really in Britain anymore? Don't people get pulled over for having fucking garden tools? If you walk down the street with, with just tree trimming shit, once you have cops show up from the CCTV footage, you might be going on a killing spree with that rake. Oh, we gotta, we gotta stop the violence. I will, uh, people suggesting to look up, oh god, I remember this. I remember this fucking article. Uh, this is just fucking depressing. All right, yeah, let, let's talk about the state of Britain and how fucked up it is. Uh, there we go. World War I machine gun found in man's garage. Nearby houses were evacuated while Army bomb, or bomb disposal officers examined Alan Tissington's collection before blowing it all up. Alan Tissington's garage was packed with artillery, firearms, ammunition, and uniforms from both world wars. His entire collection was removed and destroyed in a controlled explosion. Most people use their garages to store their broom, their lawnmower, perhaps a few rusty paint cans, but not Alan Tissington. Instead, the 46-year-old fireman kept a full-scale military arsenal, including bombs, bullets, hand grenades, and a World War II machine gun. For more than 40 years, Mr. Tissington lovingly built up his vast collection by spending hours scanning muddy fields with his metal, er, metal detector. But yesterday, the father of two from St. Albans was arrested on suspicion of digging up the weapons without permission. <laughs> you can't even dig up shit that's been abandoned without fucking licenses. And his beloved museum was taken to a farmer's field and blown up. Police officers with a search warrant raided Mr. Tissington's semi-detached home in Windmill Avenue, St. Albans, at 8 a.m. yesterday after a tip-off. Inside the garage, officers found heavy artillery shells, gas masks, rifles, bullets, military uniforms, a British flag, and a Vickers machine gun. How much do you want to bet that they blew the British flag up to? <laughs> Look at this. Can you imagine putting all your time and effort into to collecting this over the years? You go digging through fucking fields. You find all this shit that people would have left to rot in the ground. And you get it blown up by the government. Because you didn't have a fucking license to go out and dig up shit that was forgotten in the ground. Oh, I bet they blew up the uniforms. I bet they blew up the flags. Hey, they just fucking blew it all up. Can't can't have any war memorabilia. That goes against the rules. What are you doing? Need to need to get rid of that. Ah, oh, just disgusting. Snitches uh, get stitches. Adolf, uh, you might be correct on that. I'm not sure who turned him in. Obviously, a neighbor. Obviously a fucking neighbor. Oh, that is just depressing. That was a sad story. What the fuck is this? God, the BBC, I swear to Christ. Okay, let me pull this one up. I'm sure. <laughs> is there, is there, there's no, it's not even a story. It's just a headline. Is this real? I don't, who writes an article like this? There's no article. It's just, it's literally just the fucking clickbait headline. Oh, it's media playbacks. Oh, it's a media story. Well, whatever. <laughs> Doki Doki. Warnings over suicide-themed video game. On the BBC. They're really, they're really getting on top of all that video game violence over there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What are they doing? Uh, from Blordigal, the great UK resident here, once saw a guy running with some stolen goods and a police officer behind him. She didn't have the physical ability to chase him down, and due to our police being almost completely disarmed, all she could do was er, quietly say, please stop. <laughs> could you please, come on, knock it out. Come on now. Be, be nice. Behave. 
What are you doing? Come on now. Ugh. It's just every story is just depressing. From White Male. Oi, mate, you got a license for that wank station? Disky Fringo. Degeneracy is our strength. Rorky boy. Oi, got a license for that porn pass. Mohala Mamula. Wings of Redemption is now a beautiful trans woman. He does have a vagina now. That is correct. Robeck World. My mom let me use her credit card. <laughs> well, uh, Robeck World. Uh, I think she's going to be very upset. VJ Spook, ever watched Helsing Ultimate? Plenty of politics, war, and a Nazi army of 1,000 vampires. Johnny Depressed, my commie bro is trying to ruin today. What do I do? Uh, just fucking ignore him. <laughs> yeah, just ignore him. Your, your communist brother's trying to rule today, or ruin today. Uh, eat a hot dog in front of him. Have a drink in front of him. Shoot some fireworks off. Just, just have a good time. Nothing pisses off a communist more than having a good time. Uh, Merck, have a beer on me. What's your drink of choice today? Karkoff. Always got to go with the paint thinner. If you're going to get drunk, get drunk. There's no point in playing uh, grab ass with the alcohol. I could sit here all day drinking Zimas. Or I could just stick to something that's going to get the job done. Mike Hunt, for not wrenching anyone. The way it should be. 1776, 1488 underway. Dan Siorda, can the U.S. just manifest its destiny and take Cuck Canada over, please? Uh, literally nobody. I made a Plex Storm account just for you, Jim. Joseph Marcus, happy 4th of July, Jim, at least today in Sunnyside, California. I know the illegal fireworks are launched by illegal freedom lovers. God fucking bless. In fact, I am going to get a drink and catch myself up. We'll go through some more articles. Have a, have a good time laughing at the rest of the world in the absolute fucking state it is. Where they blow up your World War II collection and then let shit rain down from the sky on you. Uh, because they just hate freedom. They just hate freedom. Enjoy a little Alex. Grab a drink yourself. I'll be back in about two minutes. Those men raped that woman in India to death with an iron rod four feet long. You can't ban the iron rods. The guns, the iron rods, Pierce, didn't do it. The tyrants did it. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel Castro took the guns. 1776 will commence again if you try to take the firearms. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? The Republic will rise again. Don't try what your ancestors did before. Why don't you come to America? I'll take you out soon. You can become an American and join the Republic. And I want to say this right here. You think you're a tough guy? Well, have me back with a boxing ring in here, and I'll wear red, white, and blue, and you can wear your Jolly Roger. Okay. You know what? You Let's try again. Do you know which weapon was used in the Oregon shopping mall? want to get people off pills, suicide pills, mass murder pills. I want you to try and answer the questions. It's a proper debate, okay? I'm not trying to trip you up. No, it's not a debate. You're running the okay. show. You bring in okay. your victims. In the spirit of a proper debate, you've had a lot to say so far on the show. Let's try again. 1776 will commence again if you try to take the firearms. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? The Republic will rise again. Don't try what your ancestors did before. Why don't you come to America? I'll take you out soon. You can become an American and join the Republic. Come to America. I'll take you out soon. You can become an American and join the Republic. Whatever. Go back to where they took the guns if you don't like it. The communist... Okay. Hopefully you've got your alcohol of choice at hand. You've got some fireworks ready to explode. <laughs> Maybe light the fireworks before you start consuming the alcohol. Save yourself a trip to the ER this year, but it's up to you. I'm not going to tell you how to do your thing. You celebrate Freedom Day in the way you want to celebrate it. From LOL People, I hope everyone has their $800 privilege license. <laughs> They'll probably be buying them soon. Morsi M, treat yourself before Gabin's good goy sale ends and buy one shot. I have not really been... Not really been doing a lot of PC gaming with the graphics card issue. Stuck on a laptop at the moment. Uh, about the only thing I can run effectively is Overwatch on low settings and Paladin, which I've been playing. I may getting a little addicted to Paladin. It's not a not a terrible game actually. It's kind of fun, and I've stuck with the most basic bit shit and just uh, just play Cassie. Sword and scale, Woot, uh, Woot back at you, sir. Boyne Voyage. How many burgers and hot dogs have you eaten so fat? <laughs> How many burgers and hot dogs have you eaten so fat, man? 
I hope a lot. Also, I'm an honorary American. I love you guys and your epicness. I've I've consumed too many hot dogs. I'm a hot dog guy. I like, burgers are good, but barbecues are meant for hot dogs and chicken and shit. I, I don't know. It's just burgers are okay when you barbecue them, but for some reason, the barbecued hot dog is just fucking good. Hank Wimbledon. What sums up Trudeau? Anything from black.com. Uh, very true. Hello, fella. Will you please pee on my face? Well, there you go, Sim G. I hope that was, I hope that was good for you. Alec uh, Majorson. British SWAT uses assault whistles, Jim. I heard they sternly talk to you. If you do something really heinous over in Bongistan, they will, they will shake their finger at you and in between dripping, or drinking tea and their teeth falling out, will say that they're very upset with you and that you need to keep a, a stiff upper lip or some shit. VG Spook, she always gives her number. Prank call old Corinne. I don't know what Corinne's doing today, but I'm not really interested. We tried to wake her up last night with bomb sirens, but it didn't really go. Didn't really go to plan. Professor Worthless, Bethesda's excellent modding community will make sure your rape fantasies will come true in Fallout 76. Just remember to pre-order, or else. Todd, you might think you're slick by calling yourself Professor Worthless, but I'm not buying your fucking game. Rolf Mulzelberg, Manifest Destiny, liberate Mexico now. Uh, sorry, that's not going to happen. Dish boy, lesbian, spit swap, armpit sex, and 4K only on PS4 Pro. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, let's let's pull up the Statue of Liberty psychopath and see what they're doing. This apparently is a thing that's going on. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Oh, it's always good when you hear uh, a protester is doing something retarded. According to reports, a protester was spotted climbing the base of the Statue of Liberty in New York, which prompted police response and evacuation of the island. Oh, it's an abolished ice person. Well, let's see. If, uh, let me pull. Uh, I'll see if I can find videos. We want to see videos, obviously, of this. Oh, fuck. There are a lot of videos. <laughs> uh, I'm sure this is over by now, but whatever. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's let's uh, put this up. Where do we go? There we go. Let, let's watch this little person try to climb. Is there audio on that? Why is that not playing? Okay, brilliant. Love it when they don't have audio on their videos. You can see them uh, clearly making their way over to the foot to live out their giantess fetish. And they're going to eat that toe jam. I think they, they, they've made a mistake. This isn't somebody protesting ice. This is somebody from DeviantArt living that sexual fantasy out in real life. <laughs> Nothing says protest like sitting on your fat ass because you're too lazy to actually climb the fucking statue. Really good political statement. Hey, everybody, look at me. I climbed 10 feet into the air and then just gave up because I got tired. <laughs> I just, I, it's too much. It's too much. A protester apparently has climbed the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty. You can see there agents trying to get her down. That's the woman uh, there on the right-hand side of uh, of the base of the statue, right beneath the heel of the statue's foot. Um, there were other protesters who hung a banner on the statue that said, Abolish Ice. We assume that this uh, woman is part of that protester, but, uh, protest group, but that has not been absolutely determined at this point. Uh, she climbed the base of the statue, which is quite illegal, as you can imagine. No, yeah, I didn't imagine that might be illegal. <laughs> what what is what does that protest even mean? You didn't even like if you had done like a front flip off the fucking torch, right? Or if you had if you had bungee corded your way down and snapped your neck from the fucking crown, maybe people would be paying attention. But you hauled your fat ass up about ten feet into the air, and then you're like, eh, it's too much effort. I'm just gonna I'm gonna sit over here by the uh, Statue of Liberty's foot and just give it a snifferoo. That's a way to, way, to, way to fight the machine. Oh, 22 minutes ago, police arrest anti-Trump protester who scaled Statue of Liberty to protest U.S. or U.S. immigration laws. Let's let's watch the SWAT take down. Now this Fox News alert, and uh, during the time that that Margaret Corbin report was running, well, police nabbed their suspect. Uh, this is a woman who we believe is protesting immigrations and custom immigration and customs enforcement. We don't absolutely know that for a fact, but it was earlier today that a banner 
protesting ICE, in fact it said abolish ICE, was unfurled on the base of the Statue of Liberty shortly after this woman climbed from the base up onto the statue itself. You see her there just underneath the statue's raised right heel. New York City police have been negotiating with her for quite some time, trying to get her to voluntarily come down. She did apparently not want to do so, and so they moved in uh, with their ropes. They are in the process of arresting her. I like that. Uh, is that what they'd call a dog whistle? Is Fox News dog whistling? Here come the white police to, to arrest the black woman protesting immigration. And he says, police rushed in with their ropes. <laughs> <laughs> they took the black protester in custody with their ropes. I wonder what's going to happen after she's been arrested. Tragic story. Oh, oh, and racism. Diversity is our strength. What are you doing, Fox? Apparently, yeah, the situation's over. Apprehended. Ended too quickly. I know, it would have been a fun little story. She could have kept it going, but uh, nope. Nope, didn't do it. She's been, she's been uh, apprehended. Oh, we might have another uh, a great story here. Let me see if I can pull this up. Magistrate 67 who defended his family against an armed gang who stormed his $2 million or 2 million pound mansion was arrested himself and accused of racially aggravated assault. Nigel Stringer allegedly defended himself against men with guns and knives. JP, a millionaire property developer, is pursuing his own case after his arrest. His wife, Cindy, 55, said she lives in fear of attack at their Norwich home. A magistrate defending his family against an armed gang who stormed his house ended up being arrested himself and accused of racially aggravated assault. Police detained Nigel Stringer for three hours, and he remains under investigation. While the gang, believed to have been armed with guns, knives, metal bars, and, cro and a fucking crossbow, were allowed to leave. Fucking what? I, I need to reread that paragraph. Police detained the homeowner for three hours, and he is under investigation, while the group of people that broke into his house with guns, knives, bats, and a crossbow were allowed to leave. The 67-year-old, who's been a magistrate for 26 years, is now standing down to pursue a private prosecution against the men. Oh, because apparently that's not illegal enough. Breaking into your house armed to the teeth with weapons. Can't get the police. You have to privately prosecute that. All right. His wife, Cindy, 55, says she lives in constant fear following their terrifying events of January 14th. Mr. Stringer says justice runs in my blood, with his grandfather and parents having careers in policing. But he said they would all turn in their graves to know that modern political correctness caused my son and I to be taken from our house for defending our family. In detaining us, the police left my wife and daughters unprotected with some of the gangs still in and around our garden. The fucking what? The millionaire property developer believes the incident during which both sides allegedly used the racially incendiary N-word may have risen from a bitter dispute with a tenant over renter arrears. Mr. Stringer was enjoying a Sunday afternoon with his wife and three children aged 26, 24, and 22 in their 2 million pound 40 room home in Morningthrope near Norwich when three cars pulled up at the gates and a group of men climbed onto the grounds. He rang 999. I told the operator we were under attack. He said I could see at least three men running between the trees. One had a weapon which looked like a crossbow. The other had steel bars. You know, let me just, let me interrupt this story for a second. I think I know what's going on here. I think I, I think I know exactly why this person was arrested for calling the police when armed men broke onto his property and threatened to kill him and his family. Uh, you know, it's because I know British law so well. So let me just pull up the, uh, let me pull up the information. <laughs> if I can find it. There we go. Uh, police, we may not come out if you speak English. Fury over plan to prioritize help for crime victims who have English as a second language. So what I think happened here is he called 999 and said, hey, I got these guys showing up to my place. 
and they're going to fucking murder my family and uh, probably rape my daughter and my wife. And the police, you know, asked him kindly if he could say that in German or Swahili. And when he couldn't do it, they sent out a squad car to arrest him for being a racist because, you know, don't waste their time if you actually speak English in Britain. Let's go back to the story. My son told me he had seen a gun. I went outside and kept shouting loudly at him to leave and that the police were on their way. I used my hands and a stick to push him away from the house. <laughs> he kept punching and kicking me. I was by that time bruised, bleeding, and utterly exhausted. Mr. Slater found this knife at the scene for the cr uh, of the crime several months after it happened. Mr. Stringer said he was then horrified to see four other men on the other side of the hedge urging their companion with phrases such as, Go on, my nigga. Slog him. He said, I had no strength left. I only had my voice, and I tried the most shocking words to shout, <laughs> thinking if they came through the hedge, uh, we would be killed. There was nobody there to save us. We were alone. Using their own words, I shouted, and if you niggers come into my garden, I'll fucking hit you with this. <laughs> I merely flung their own words back at them. I am not a racist. The other men retreated to their cars. <laughs> so that actually worked. Screaming nigger at them made them run back to their cars. Well, there you go. <laughs> Five police cars then arrived and officers arrested Mr. Stringer and his son on suspicion of racially aggravated assault. Police briefly questioned the men at the gate, but none were arrested. He said police were uninterested in the injuries he suffered and told him the gang had simply entered his garden as civil trespassers and done nothing wrong. They didn't do nothing. Within weeks, he was informed that police closed the case about the trespass. Now six months on, he had to resign as a Norwich magistrate, as he would have been unable to launch a private prosecution while sitting on the bench. Oh. So, a group of guys show up at his house. They break onto the property. They're armed with guns and knives and bats and a fucking crossbow. They attack him and his family. They start shouting that they're going to hurt them. He calls the police. They get let go. He gets arrested. And now, they're not going to even file charges against the guys that showed up with the weapons. And if he wants any justice at all, he has to lose his job as a magistrate to, to, to pursue it as a, a private matter, as civil litigation. So a bunch, of dudes break on, uh, a bunch of dudes break onto your property and assault you, and not only do you get your ass kicked, you get arrested, and you lose your job. Uh, the absolute state of Britain. Ugh. This is why they deserve to be mocked. How can you read that story and not be fucking ashamed? They're just trespassing. They didn't do nothing. That's correct, chat. They didn't do nothing. They's innocent. Uh, Lone Wolf Otaku for 50. Buy yourself a bottle, Jim. Well, you know, Kharkov costs about, like, four dollars for a gallon so i'll probably be in the hospital with alcohol poisoning with that amount of money but thank you very much lone wolf otaku and uh saber on or aaron what is going on in the world anymore i just don't understand why people can't get along anymore where do these insane or insane thoughts come from well i'm gonna take i'm gonna wager a guess and say if you live in the uk and people can break into your house beat you up make you lose your job and get you arrested uh and then have the police say they didn't do nothing I think that's probably where the insane thoughts are coming from. That that might be what's doing it. Oh, God. That was a fucking depressing story. That was a just goddamn. Uh, from Jim Jones on Twitter. Getting an actual motorcycle license in the UK takes years, and there's some weird progression. The UK website is a giant flowchart of hoops you have to jump through. You gotta, you gotta, <laughs> oh, fucking Christ. Oh, God, can you do anything in this shithole of a country? Uh, let's let, we got another one here. Let's see how infuriating this one is, if it'll load. Uh, I, I love these ones where they're ashamed of their own fucking flags. So uh, let's do this. Is flying a St. George flag an act of patriotism or a symbol of all that is bad about England? 
there aren't as many flags flying this summer. Perhaps people are fed up with being distracted. Perhaps they're fed up with being uh, tarred with the same brush as all those proper racist right-wing fanatics who've co-opted the British flag for their own ends. If you're a flag-waving bent, you'll be enjoying an almost unparalleled summer right now, from the wedding of Prince Harry and uh, Meghan Markle, through the Queen's official birthday to the World Cup, which segues nicely into the annual patriotism of the proms? I don't know what that is. 2018 is the year for you. But where are you? Oh, is this the same story? What am I reading here? Royal Mail... Oh, God. Royal Mail bans England flags on vans during World Cup. Why? Why? What? The Union Jack and the St. George Cross have now been tainted by association with the far right. Nobody seems surprised anymore to see some bullheaded idiot draped in the flag and performing a Nazi salute which is quite a remarkable state of affairs. So are, are, you're, you're telling me that you don't like somebody else who waved the flag, so you're not going to wave the flag anymore. Uh, just wait till they make it illegal. You'll need a license to wave the fucking St. George. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. I, I'm just pulling up stories as we go here. Just having a nice little... You know, that, uh, where does that go? It's, a, it's an image. Let's, let's pull this one up. Police lose track of 485 registered sex offenders across Britain. And yet they have billboards up like this one. There are five homes in Rock Street S3 without a TV license. When your government tracks all TV licenses but screws up tracking criminals. Yeah, well, you've got to pay for that BBC. It's not free, mate. Oi, huh? You got to, somebody's got to pay for it. I'm still, uh, I'm still a little shell shocked from the story about the dude having people break into his house and then getting arrested for it. <sighs> God damn. All right, uh, yeah, I, I'm missing some super chats here, so let me let me get caught up on some of these. We'll go back and read some more cucked Canada and cucked Britain things, and then uh, I'll probably go for another half an hour or so. I just wanted to try to stream in between parades and fireworks, and I don't want to take people away from getting to the beach and doing their fireworks shit tonight, or going to the carnival, or getting drunk and shooting guns, or going to a nice barbecue. It's a nice little Freedom Day stream, but not meant to be a very long one. Cool youth pastor, Sean. Brits making fun of us for shootings, but the Russians are cucking them with nerve gas constantly. My face went. Rico Suave, why have so many societies moved from individualist to collectivist? I, uh, I see that's Canadian money, and I'm seeing the term individualist. Are you a liberalistismismist, uh, Rico Suave? Atomic charge. Oi, mate. I was just passing through with my mates, and my knife happened to cut you up. Don't be a racist, man. John, hold up. The 4th of July is racist. Abolish ice. Sweet Ford, buy yourself a bunch of 40s and four one out. <laughs> I think you meant pour. Pour one out for the homies in Britain, Jim. Happy hour. How did the skeptics go from trolling to feelings? Burn for never. Forget his not being murdered license. Well, that that is probably true. He forgot to have that on him uh, when these men broke into his fucking house. Dame Pesos, Monday Matt has announced she's transitioning to become who she's really in or who she really is inside. Monday Matt is no more. Now is Monday Matilda. Matt is a false father. And for those in the chat that don't know who Dame, uh, Dame Pesos is, uh, that's the guy that puts up Monday Matt videos, and then they all mysteriously get flagged down. It's really weird every time you put up a Monday Matt video making fun of him, that it suddenly gets flagged down. Really makes you think. Really gets the noggin jogging. Call me bot 5000. I'm so fucking happy I'm American. Uh, we all are, I think, uh, today. Especially after reading shit like we've been reading. Vinny S. Oh, we, they didn't do nothing. Eric Hoyce Pliskin. You have got to be kidding me. That's utterly shit. Uh, welcome to the reality that is the UK. Saber Aaron. What is going on in the world? Oh, already read that one. Uh, Barnabas Bourne. It's Independence Day. Lucifer Love Monkey. Here's five freedom dollars to buy Jim uh, to the 
buy Jim a gun fund. You know, reading these is a bit more difficult when you've had a little liquor. I'll be honest with you all. Uh, German <laughs> Niger? End democracy. American space empire now for freedom. Brick Bone Seal. Check, uh, Jim, check out the Rebel Galaxy soundtrack. It's a fun game with great music. The track Badman is music to be American to. I will, I will take a look. Crabs in the bucket. Looks like uh, she misread the sign. She probably thought there was free meth at the top of the statue. <laughs> Indigo White. New names for the uh, Canucks. Frozen backs because they're snow Mexicans. Uh, underscore. Have a 40 and a pack of Newports on me. Edmund Ploppy. Bread is the truest race. We all fear the toaster. Trey V. Chlorine is here. Get a new graphics card. Young Yang. or Yu Yang Hyung. Oy vey, the only acceptable MOBA is Dota. Come on, Jim, and play Dota 2 on Steam 2 and very low PC spec requirements. I don't play Ass Faggots. I'm not, uh, I'm not really into the typical Ass Faggots game. I've, I've avoided Dota. I've avoided League of Legends. Uh, it's just not my, it's not my thing. Massive Damage Gaming. Jim, play the uh, Gene Force series. Bad PC can handle. Lone Wolf Otaku. I already read that one. Uh, the guy from that thing, the stream is more patriotic than anybody I've interacted with today. Fuck my city. Thank you, Jim. Uh, you're welcome. Viking, Viking, take a teaspoon of ether to get really drunk. It's uh, good sage medical advice. Backslide Dan, watch Charlie Brown, Kwanzaa Nibba. Jimbo Jones, Cecil is the new leader of Comicsgate. Yeah, I heard some weird shits going on in Comicsgate, but I haven't really been paying attention. Some kind of some kind of fight is going on between different people. I'm not really tuned into it. Blortical the Great, a few years back, a man in the UK was sent to prison for killing a man with a cricket bat after catching the man beating his kids and his wife in their home. If you show up to your fucking house and there is a man beating your children and your wife, beating the shit out of them, and you defend them and stop him, even if he dies, and he, he went to prison for, for going after the guy. Beautiful. Should he have just, what, let them, let them be beaten? Should he have asked nicely, given the man some tea? Uh, went and applied for a license to ask him sternly to stop beating his wife? Lin Wu, Euro Cucks can't handle anime ladies because they are too busy getting stuffed by their new Asian neighbors. Sword and Scale, why don't the English speak English properly? <laughs> it's uh, Islander stuff. Stuck on the same island with each other, all that inbreeding. Uh, warps their ability to speak. Octopus Prime, you know the BBC News is available in Pigeon English because they're completely cucked. Yes, I've, I've seen that before. Goody, we made you. I see that's in uh, fun money from Europe. I'm guessing you mean you made America? No, we made ourselves. See, you uh, you Brits were the big dog. And we decided, fuck you. And then we kicked your ass and took your shit. And uh, laughed about it. And they made the best country in the world. Deal with it. Joker Nobody, BBC article about DDLC describes a different game. Oh, a <laughs> good collection of shit that he had gathered from two world wars. Uh, and not giving a fuck. And you're correct. I don't know why you would destroy shit like that. It doesn't make any sense to me. Even if you're going to take it from them and say that the weapons are dangerous, fine. Uh, put those in a museum. But I don't see why you take the uniforms and the flags and everything else. That makes no fucking sense. Far Master Flex. Thanks for the laughs at Fog Breathers. Sean Turner. In my town of Mesquite, Texas, they can't let us set off fireworks. I think it's just neighbors invoking my freedom on not blowing, or <laughs> preventing, I'm guessing, your freedom on not blowing up fireworks at 2 a.m. Uh, that is not a problem where I'm from. We can blow up uh, fireworks all fucking day. And they do. There's nothing like being woken up at 2 in the morning on July 9th because people still have a fireworks cache they're shooting off. Angela Zeigler. How, <laughs> how ab? H-A-U-A-B? I'm, I'm probably fucking it up. Random Furfay, GM, I think you missed my chat. Also, teach your future son the ways of shitposting, or we will have boys from Brazil after you. I probably missed a few super chats. I probably missed a few things. I'm a bit tipsy. It's to be expected. Uh, yeah. Let's let's do some regular chat, so I'm not just a sellout whore. I talk to normal people. Is Texas becoming cucked? A doomsday cultist. I, I don't... Oh, fuck. Why is it stuck? I, I keep forgetting this. God, I've missed all fun chat. Fucking hell. Oh, by the way, a reminder. If you want to have an enjoyable experience on a YouTube live stream, make sure to click live chat. Top chat is the sanitized soccer mom area. Live chat is where the fun things happen. 
we surpassed the UK? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. You want me to show my tits? No, I only do that on Twitch. It's the one thing you can't get banned for on Twitch TV at this point. Anything else, you will get thrown off the fucking website, apparently. But if you show your tits, that's perfectly acceptable. Uh, brap? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, the UK is fucked. It seems to be a common sentiment. I, you can't read stories like this and not see that there's an issue. And the thing that always annoys me about Brits, Europeans, but Brits in, uh, specifically, is they love to shit-talk America. They love to shit-talk us. And then they whine and whine and whine about how fucking oppressive it is over there. And they don't do shit about it. I mean, you live in a country where you're under constant surveillance. And we make jokes about the NSA doing shit. But you have cameras on every street fucking corner. They put cameras in your house now, in some cases. I, I'll see if I can find that article. It's so fucked up. You're just monitored all the time. You're watched all the time. You need permission to do fucking anything. To say what you want to say. To post what you want to post. To buy what you want to buy. To defend yourself. You need licenses to jack off. They don't want you to own a moped. They don't want you to wave a flag. They don't want you to study historical shit or have your own little collection. And, like, you let it get to that point, but you still bitch about it, and then you don't do anything. Ah, oh, it's so annoying to listen to. I'm sorry America's so great, you know, but we're sick of listening to you whine. Fix your shit. Pull yourself up by the bootstraps. Don't keep looking to us to fix it for you. Zanchief, suck my Scottish dick, Jim. Hey now, you can say that to me on YouTube, but whatever you do, don't rev your engine too loudly at somebody when you're at the uh, the crosswalk. You might get arrested in Scotland. Europe, <laughs> Europe, Akbar. That's that's their new that's their new little saying. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Uh, people are sending more articles. Let's let's take a look. This is this real? See, this is gonna go from. This is just gonna make me angry. All right. Rotherham dads were arrested after tracking down abusers. Two fathers who daughter, two fathers whose daughters were victims of child sexual exploitation, tracked down their abusers, only to be arrested by the police themselves. The dads had attempted to remove their daughters from houses where abuse was taking place, but they were the ones who were arrested by police. Professor Jay's inquiry, police said, often treated victims with contempt, frequently arresting them while taking no action against those committing offenses. A report said in two cases, fathers tracked down their daughters and tried to remove them from the houses they were being abused in, only to be arrested when police were called to the scene. In a small number of cases, the victims themselves were arrested for offenses such as breach of the peace or being drunk and disorderly, with no actions taken against the perpetrators of rape and sexual assault against children. The report revealed there had only been a small number of successful prosecutions for the offense against children. Ugh. God, fucking God. Can't defend yourself when your house gets broken into... Can't fucking go rescue your kid from getting raped by pedophiles because you'll get arrested. Fuck Britain. Just what a disgusting country the UK is. Just fuck the whole thing. You let it get that way. And then I have to listen to you whine because you don't like how fucking Orwellian it is. You niggers let it happen. You sat on your lazy tea drinking asses and you let it happen. You let the system get so fucked up and corrupt that you get arrested for the most mundane shit. While well, actual criminals go around raping your kids and breaking into houses and hurting people and they get off scot-fucking-free. You let that happen. That wasn't America. That wasn't any other part of the fucking world. That was your lazy inaction, your apathy that let that happen. And now you don't like the fallout of it. So you whine on the internet and you bitch at Americans. Oh, come save us. Come save us from the 1984. We've elected ourselves. Fucking rot. I hope it just drags you down into the depths. You wanted to roll around in the shit? Well, you're living in sewage now.
No fucking, no fucking sympathy. No sympathy for this. Okay. Let's not read any more child rape stories from the UK, even though there are so fucking many of them. It's right. That's right, chat. Fuck Europe. God bless America. Oh, no more brother wars. I don't want to be brothers with these people. I don't want to be brothers with people that let their kids get fucked. I don't want to be brothers with people that let themselves become serfs and bend a knee like chattel. Those aren't my brothers. Oh, this is supposed to be supposed to be a fun day for us Americans. <laughs> so let's 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 pull it back a little bit. Let's pull it back just a little bit. Let's put a. I'm gonna put that Alex Jones video on. I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. We'll read some more of the chat. Just uh, let me let me simmer down a bit. Those men raped that woman in India to death with an iron rod four feet long. You can't ban the iron rods. The guns, the iron rods, Pierce, didn't do it. The tyrants did it. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel Castro took the guns. 1776 will commence again if you try to take the firearms. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? The Republic will rise again. Don't try what your ancestors did before. Why don't you come to America? I'll take you out shooting. You can become an American and join the Republic. And I want to say this right here. You think you're a tough guy? Well, have me back with a boxing ring in here, and I'll wear red, white, and blue, and you can wear your Jolly Roger. Okay. You know what? You Let's try again. Do you know which weapon was used in the Oregon shopping mall? I want to get people off pills. Suicide pills. Mass murder pills. I want you to try and answer the questions. It's a proper debate, okay? I'm not trying to trip you up. No, it's not a debate. You're running the okay. show. You bring in okay. your victims. In the spirit of a proper debate, you've had a lot to say so far on the show. Try again. 1776 will commence again if you try to take the firearms. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? The Republic will rise again. Don't try what your ancestors did before. Why don't you come to America? I'll take you out shooting. You can become an American and join the Republic. Come to America. I'll take you out shooting. You can become an American and join the Republic. Whatever. Go back to where they took the guns if you don't like it. The communist. Okay. All right. We're back. We're back. We're back. A little simmered down. A little simmered down now. 1776. That's right. You celebrate Freedom Day. You celebrate that we're never going to become that bad. You read those stories, you listen to tales like that, and you remind yourself, hey, at least we're not them. We may be fucked up. We may be fat fucks that ride our little our little scooters around Walmart. We may be 56% mutts. We may have a school shooting every other day. But at least we're not Britain. At least we're not the UK. That's something to put on the list. At least we're not them. That's always going to be the one-up they can't beat. That's what makes them so ass-mad. Fallen behind on my chats here. Let me, let me, let me read some of them. Uh, Tavid Andros. Jim, remember, Poland and Italy are uncucked. Salvini has uh, been turning away boats like no tomorrow. Over 200 drowned in one day. Not all is lost there. Also, you're a nig skipping the last one. I'm getting to it. Like I said, I'm, I'm going in reverse order. God is dead, Jim. Just as dead as Boogie from Reginic Wolf. Uh, we've got one from producer Chris. Uh, gas the ki uh, gas the kex rakes war now. Uh, Jason Leonardo, let me pay for some of your drinks, Jim. God bless America. Just please, no more foreign wars, unless it's for Japan or Korea, so we can keep that weeb shit going. Uh, we've got to love the weeb shit. All right, let me we'll, we'll refresh this. I hate I. I the, the way they have the fucking Super Chat shit implemented when you're, like, trying to read these off, there's not, like, a way to update it where you can just tick it off, be like, I read that one, and then the list auto-updates. You've got to, like, scroll and refresh pages, and when you've had a little bit to drink, it makes you feel like you've missed shit. Um, where am I sitting here? Sir Bon Voyage, you're charismatic and awesome. I hope you don't get offended when someone asks if they can friend you on Discord randomly. Burgers are better, though. I don't... 
I, I'm not going to get offended because I don't I don't use Discord. I don't touch Discord. I, I, I think you would think people by this point would be well aware that Discord is just awful and you wouldn't use it. James Biniak, uh, press X to Jason. Who do Brown? How much you want to bet this will rustle Sargon's jimmies? Who fucking cares? Alex Majorson, rock flag and eagle. Cy Brav, it's a new improvised, or a new improved crusade. It's well deserved. That guy from that thing, yes, preach. Lama Boy, Jim, maybe if we bully them, they'll get off their asses and fix their shithole country. All the genes of revolutionary spirit left with the colonizers. Hashtag, there are no men in Britain. Angela Ziegler, Donkey Sean, for the 1776 stream, Jim. Sir Blast, no, Texas isn't getting cucked, you mongoloid. There are fire hazard issues for all the dry areas in Texas. Gonna shoot my musket. Happy Freedom Day, Jimbo. Steel DOJ, I'm British. How do I watch the stream without the queen finding out? Keep up the great work. You're gonna have to use a VPN. The same way you access your porn without buying a license. Cybrov, screw Islam. I know history. Love you, Jim. SMWD15, 20 bucks for the buy, Jim, a gun fund. It may be Canuck buck, but, that, uh, but that's because of my VPN. The United Bank of Money. Today I was called an Uncle Tom for saying I love America. Uh, there's no there's no problem with enjoying Freedom Day. It's a fucking... At the, even the people that aren't patriotic, it's an excuse to go have a fucking barbecue and get drunk and blow shit up. How is that not a great holiday? VJ Spook, this nignog plays poor Ladins. Capitalism is America. Xeno Gaming, what's good, Medica? Remember that Antifa loser that got knocked out so hard he became retarded? Anyway, the EU banning memes is so laughably retarded. Oh, that's right, I forgot. They're, they're banning jokes, which I guess makes sense because they can't take any. Sullivan Ratcliffe, wow, you're really pushing a... <laughs> wow, you're really pulling a uh, Gregory Berrycone. Jim, easy on that hot dogs. Saber Aaron, I'm the good US of A. A lull, I mean, when did this PC crap get out of hand? Why are people defending criminals in the name of human decency? Can nobody do nothing wrong except Whitey now? When did feelings become so important? Ozzy Mandius, Sargon chuckles at his wife's bull beats her son. <laughs> Sargon chuckles as his wife's bull beats her son. Jo uh, Jonas Traber, what's your take on Sargon joining UKIP? I don't... I I. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, I don't care at this point. Brit needs to unfuck itself. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, just, oh, oh, the liquor is kicking. Oh. Tank Dom 131, Comicsgate just reached the optics cuck stage like GG. Uh, well, rip in peace, I guess. Random asshole, how did the world's greatest empire fall so low? Baku, check out the girls und Panzer BBC article I sent you. I will I will pull that up. Based Beaner, six million wasn't enough. Crabs in the bucket, hey Jim, the story about the shitkins in the UK really sucks. Typical, here's five Canada stands for a brew having a domestic for patriotism. Morai, have you seen the second Civil War letters tag it's gay? Yes, I've seen it. It's LARPing liberals talking about uh, what they do in a second Civil War. It's dumb. Norman Decker, have you read the book Jewish Ritual Murder? Maybe I should upload the audio version of it. David Andros, you didn't read my super chat, Jim Ukike. Well, now I have. Darkman McEdgeface, Brit cops aren't tracking the sex offenders because they got all the licenses in order. Bow Wow, you're going to stream Captain Autism. It's free. Uh, I might, actually. Captain Autismo looks like a, a solid quality title. All right. Let me, let me, oh God, you know, it's probably a mistake looking for more stories. Ugh. Uh, okay. Let's let's see. Let's see if we can find something. God. Oh, it's depressing. Just depressing. Just makes me angry. Just makes me just uh all right. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Unavailable. Oh, no, I guess that one's not going to work. Okay. All right. The liquor is the liquor is starting to beat me down here, and uh, 
uh, we've been going for about two hours. I'll read some more Super Chats, talk chat a little bit more. And then I will wish you a happy Freedom Day. Uh, again, I uh, might want to let off those fireworks before you get drunk, is a word of wisdom. Just so you have all your fingers at the end of it. Uh, veggie bad, Japan is better than Europe. Uh, you didn't need to pay to say that. I think that's something we all know. Oh, I'm seeing some salt in the chat from some Brits. Get bent. Deal with it. <laughs> be as mad as you want to be. At least I don't require you to have a license to shitpost. But you're going to need one in about another month or two. Alrighty. Uh, <laughs> Uh, from producer Chris, BC Master Race controller Kex need to grow up and learn programming. Well, Medicare, uh, made Medicare say gas the Kex. I will take my throne and bathe, based Ethnotopia now. Jehovah's Thickness, when are you going to do a video on the drunken peasants harboring pedos? I, I, I have nothing planned for them right now. I've got a backlog of shit that i got to catch up on. Say brav, entertain me. HDRTU. Okay, real question. Why the fuck do these protesting Antifa fucks wear Soviet symbols? Do they even know that the USSR literal faggots like them were diagnosed with so <laughs> with slow progressive schizophrenia and put in mental institutions? You know, a couple of people reminded me of that. Let me let me pull up super chat. Let me let me find a super chat video. I said I was going to do that, and I, I think that'll that'll fix the mood. That'll fix the mood after reading these depressing fucking European stories. Let me let me find it. I wonder if it'll even be searchable under Super Chat Rufio. Holy shit, it actually is findable under Super Chat Rufio. All right, fantastic. Pull up that one. And pull up this one. Okay, let's, let's watch some guy beat the ever-living shit out of Antifa. Uh, where is it? Okay. Uh, make sure that pops up. All right. Uh, so for those unaware, there were a bunch of... I don't even know what they were. Antifa was protesting uh, just all over the country. And there weren't very many counter-protests. And one of the counter-protests was by a group called Patriot Prayers. So when they showed up and they're waving their flags, uh, from what I understand, a lot of them were like, uh, Proud Boys, or whatever the fuck it is, Gavin McGinnis's thing. Uh, but uh, they're waving their flags and doing their counter-protest, and Antifa fucking flips their shit, uh, starts hucking rocks, throwing fucking fireworks at them. And then you've got this one guy. So the camera captures it perfectly. There's this dude, this Antifa guy, dressed completely in black. He's got a face mask on. He's got his metal baton in hand. It's one of those police model ones. You know, you, you give it a flick and it extends fully. And uh, he's walking towards the middle of the street. Well... This one guy in a mega hat is in the middle of a fight, and the Antifa guy runs up behind him and cracks him on the head. And that's when Super Chad Rufio enters the fucking frame. And he, I, I don't know if you've ever seen Ippo. It, it, it was like, a, I, he's putting like power from a Dempsey roll into this fucker. Like he just laid him flat on his ass. So I will show you that. Hopefully this pops it up. Nope, nope, that's not the wrong, that's a wrong. Well, you know what? Actually, I can. I can probably do it on this one. Okay, let's see if that does it. Yep, okay, that got. Uh, video's a little blurry. Quality's not the best. It was taken from a live stream that was pretty shit. And this looks like it was taken from a webm. But you'll you get the idea. On the left-hand side is our guy with the metal baton. Enter right will be Rufio. Here we go. Ah, apparently that's an edited version. Oh, I am sorry, I apologize. Maybe this compilation will have it, because he was knocking motherfuckers out left and right all day. Let's let's take a look.
Yeah, you can see him right here. He's he's at the front of the guys. He knocks this one dude right on his fucking ass. See that fucking punch? That was the guy uh, we saw in the earlier video walking from over here. That was that was a motherfucker. Okay, here we go. Go, don't close your eyes, you'll miss the show. Been a lot of time, now the moment has been waiting here so I can kick some ass. Now face the crowd, no backing down. Bend down and out, here's what it's all about. Let's get things done. Took his fucking weapon from him. Knocked him flat on his fucking ass and took his... Well, I can't help the music. I'm not the one that made the video. I'm not. I'm not the one that made the video. But uh, just beating the shit out of Antifa all day long. It's glorious. He ended up getting arrested. Police reviewed the tape and let him go. And then apparently the guy that he knocked on his ass is now semi-retarded. And in the hospital with a fractured skull and brain bleeding. So, it's just great. Little little pussy Antifa with his little metal baton tries jumping in there to whack somebody in the head with a fucking a cheap shot from behind. And uh, Rufio just Dempsey rolls right into him. Just fucking full force with that right. Just knocks the fucking sunglasses, went about 300 feet in the fucking air. And he's just, he's out cold. In fact, I think they show him getting hauled off. Let's see if they do. Like, he's not, he's not going, like, they have to drag him off. They're dragging him away like you'd move a fucking uh, plastic Christmas tree. Just fold it up. He's not going anywhere. Ugh. Just right on his ass. Yeah, he, uh, that's, that's correct, chat. He is uh, officially retarded now. <laughs> He's not going to talk so good. When he gets out of the fucking hospital. All right. Well, well I'm going to wrap things up. Uh, I'll read through some of more, or the, the last part of the super chats. I'm sorry if I missed yours. I'm uh, on the border between tipsy and drunk. So I'll try to hit these, and then uh, I will wish you a good fourth. Uh, happy Freedom Day. Uh, enjoy the time with your family and friends. Enjoy the fireworks tonight. Enjoy just, just being an American and not having to deal with the fucked up shit that happens in Europe. Uh, Yan, uh, guys, help me hit like uh, 1.2k. Save bra. Whites are evil. Leave us alone. Farmaster Flex. Take note, Europe. That's how it's done. Vault Dweller 604 recently read a Storm article with some videos of working class Brits dealing with their foreigner problem properly. It was pretty good to see. ARP or AR Photo. They're faced when they will never get the opportunity to legally slot filthy Antifa commies with an M60 in Portland. Well, they're rioting and ruining my state. <laughs> Pooper whiting. It's a fantastic username, by the way. Pooper whiting. UK situation just reminds me of the Captain Sweden skits. England, yes. It, it really does at this point. It's become a fucking, uh, a real life version of a parody. Uh, black budget cyclotrons. Jim and, Ang or Jim, are Anglos just sea dwelling Jews? It's a question for the ages. Professor Worthless Life is Strange too. Better be Chris Chan Simulator. James Navia, retake Constantinople. Kill all Roach Turks and come back on PKA Jim. Sai Brav, how's Minnesota? Uh, Minnesota is doing good. Well, by good I mean overrun with Somalis. <laughs> and a governor who tells you if you don't like it, you need to get the fuck out. Producer Chris, PC Master Race, uh, Controller Kex need to grow up and learn... Pro okay, we've I've already read that one. All right, I think I'm I think I'm think uh, caught up, close to caught up. Sargon of Kabod, Chad turned that fruit into a vegetable. Gregan's the guy, womp womp. Gravy, er, groovy Snake, how does it feel to be the modern Joseph Goebbels? Ah. <laughs> there we go. They better shut their mouths. Uh, Bastoya34, any more videos or info on our pal Ross? I don't know what he's up to. 
Uh, people, from what I heard, are, are trying to get him arrested and swatted, so I have no idea. Cy Brav, execute the soft coup motherfuckers in our midst. Meg Jensen, my husband and I want to help you celebrate this, the most important of holidays, with some alcohol money. Happy birthday, America. Eat a wang, UK. Uh, thank you, and I hope you and your husband have a good Freedom Day. Jason Leonardo, let me pay for some of your drinks, Jim. God bless America. Just please, no more foreign wars. Oh, or, yeah, unless it's for Japan. I gotcha. Okay. All right, chat. Well, uh, oh, did I miss this one? Gas the Kex Ray Court. No, no. All right. Well, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up again. I apologize if I missed your chat. I'm just a little, a little, a little under it. Enjoy your Freedom Day. Uh, remember, if anybody gives you shit on this glorious of holidays, at least we're not Brits. That that really is the best rebuttal. At least at least we are not the British. At least we can defend our property and our families and our children and can say what we want to say and can hold a gun without needing to get the army's permission. At least we can have our own little museums. At least we can make jokes and have memes. At least we can jack off to whatever degenerate shit gets us off. Because we are American, and we are just better than them. <laughs> all right. You all have a good Freedom Day. Uh, have a drink. Have some fun. Take it easy. <laughs>